So I have created two virtual networks in the same resource group in the same region. But the thing that would be surprising to some people is that any devices that are connected to one virtual network would not be able to communicate with devices connected to the other virtual network. So there is no virtual network to virtual network can, uh, communication by default. So the purpose of this video is to talk about the first way of connecting two virtual networks in Azure, which is using a network gateway. So a network gateway is like a site-to-site -site VPN. It is uh, going to be a virtual device, so it's a, a virtual network gateway, but it's going to encrypt the traffic. So any traffic traveling between the two VNets will be encrypted uh, through a tunnel. And it's the same virtual network gateway that you would use if you were connecting your on-premises to Azure using a VPN or a point to site VPN. So what we need to do then is go into a, a virtual network here and create a network gateway. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're going to go up here into the search and we're gonna say uh, network gateway. And we can see virtual network gateways. So we have to create one. So we're gonna say add. And on the basics tab, we obviously we have our subscription and we're going to have to choose a resource group to add this to. So, uh, so we're gonna start, remember we're doing this in the East region, East US region. Your network gateway obviously has to be in the same region as your virtual network. We have to give it a name, VNet Gateway 1. There are a couple of types of, of uh, gateways. The VPN gateway is the one we're going to be dealing with. Also, uh, we can do an express route gateway, but that doesn't really, it's not really relevant to th this VPN, uh, VNet to VNet communication. We'll leave the default here as a uh, route based. There are a couple of types of VPNs. One is more um, intelligent, you know, and the other is more, you set the rules uh, and they're fixed rules. There are different types of SKUs. Uh, there even for availability zones, there's gonna be a new set of SKUs here. We're just gonna pick the, the gateway one SKU. We won't touch this uh, generation gateway. There is a, um, right, so generation two is only for VPN four and VPN five, we won't touch it. So now we have to pick the virtual network. So we're gonna add this gateway, VP, VNet gateway one to VNet one. It's going to create a new subnet. And so you can see there's this 10.1.0 and it's creating its own subnet for 16 addresses just for um, the, the virtual network gateway subnet. Does the uh, VNet need a public IP address? We are going to create one. So we'll call this uh, VNet gateway one, IP one. All right, we're gonna leave the rest with the default settings. Now I'll click review. Now the trick with virtual network gateways is it's going to take about 45 minutes for this gateway to get created. So this is not a, a quick thing. There's obviously some work behind the scenes to get this virtual network instantiated. So when I hit create here, it's going to take 45 minutes to get a, a VNet gateway uh, onto this. In the meantime, I'm going to create another VNet gateway for the VNet2 so that they'll both end up having a network gateway. And then we can do the work to connect those gateways. So the deployment for VNet Gateway 1 is underway and I'm just hitting create now for VNet Gateway 2. So we're gonna get two VNet Gateways going here on the two different VNets.